Hi guys, I'm Taylor. Welcome to STEM Storytime. Today we're going to be reading The Three Billy Goats Gruff by Paul Galdon. And then afterwards we're going to have our own little project time. Okay. The Three Billy Goats Gruff. Once upon a time, there were three billy goats. They lived in the valley and the name of all three billy goats was Gruff. There was very little grass in the valley and the billy goats were hungry. They wanted to go up the hillside to a fine meadow full of grass and daisies where they could eat and eat and eat and get fat. But on the way up, there was a bridge over a rushing river and under the bridge lived a troll who was as mean as he was nasty. First, the youngest billy goat gruff decided to cross the bridge. Trip, 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 went the bridge. Who's that tripping over my bridge? roared the troll. Oh, it's only I, the teeniest billy goat gruff, said the billy goat in his very small voice. And I'm going to the meadow to make myself fat. No, you're not, said the troll, or I'm coming to gobble you up. Oh, please don't take me. I'm too little, that I am, said the billy goat. Wait till the second Billy Goat Gruff comes. He's much bigger. Well then, be off with you, said the troll. A little later, the second Billy Goat Gruff came to cross the bridge. Trip, 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 went the bridge. Who's that tripping over my bridge, roared the troll. Oh, it's only I, the second billy goat gruff, and I'm going up to the meadow to make myself fat, said the billy goat, and his voice was not so small. No, you're not, said the troll, for I'm coming to gobble you up. Oh, please don't take me. Wait a little till the third billy goat gruff comes. He's much bigger. Very well. Be off with you, said the troll. Then up came the third billy goat gruff. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. The third billy goat gruff was so heavy that the bridge creaked and groaned under him. Who's that tramping over my bridge? roared the troll. It is I, the big billy goat gruff, said the billy goat and his voice was as loud as the trolls. Now I'm coming to gobble you up, roared the troll. Well, come along, said the big billy goat gruff. I've got two horns and four hard hooves. See what you can do. So up climbed the mean, ugly troll and the big billy goat gruff butted him with his horn and trampled him with his hard hooves. and tossed him over the bridge and into the rushing river. Then the big billy goat gruff went up the hillside to join his brothers. In the meadow, the three billy goat gruff got so fat they could hardly walk home again. They're probably there yet. So snip, snap, snout, this tale's told out. That was a fun story. So what would have happened if there hadn't been a bridge or if the troll had been bigger and meaner and they'd had to find another way to get across? I think it would have been smart if they could have tried to build a boat or a raft. So today that's what we're going to do. We're going to test different things and see what floats and what doesn't. So first you're going to need a couple of things. The very first thing, and this is important, Ask your parent or guardian to help you get a big bowl of water, something like this, and find things around your house that 
are okay to get wet. You don't want to use anything like electronics or something that's going to be ruined if it gets wet. So make sure that you have their permission first. Next, go around your house and find some things that you think are going to float and we'll see if they do. Now, I don't have three billy goats with me, but what I do have are my three little dinosaur friends here. So we're going to use these guys as our billy goats. So we can see if the things that we make are going to float or not. So I went around my house and I looked for a couple things that I thought would float. And I came across some things like a piece of cardboard or some packing foam, a sponge, and this little medicine cup. So let's see what happens if I put them in water. First of all, the cardboard has all these holes in it, so it can trap air on the inside. And that's important. That's what helps make things float. You set it on here, and there it goes. It's floating. But let's see if it can support the weight of our three billy goat friends here. Put one guy on. The second. And the third. Perfect. Look at that. And it floats. Now, this is a great idea, but it's not going to work forever in the long run because cardboard is made out of paper. And so, see how on the bottom it's getting wet and soaked through? So it's not going to last for very long. Pretty soon, it's going to crumble and fall apart. And if our billy goat friends had to get back across the river, they might not be able to make it work with this same piece of cardboard. But what about something like this piece of foam? It also has holes in it. It's porous, which means that it's got lots of tiny little holes in it all throughout. Let's see if it'll float. And it does. What about if we add some weight? Okay. All right. And last one. Will it make it? Oh, just barely. Not a whole lot of room on this piece. But this one seems to be floating just fine too. And because it's not paper, you don't have to worry about it soaking, getting soaking wet and falling apart. But you might not have a piece of packing foam at your house. So what else would you have? Maybe a kitchen sponge. Obviously, we know sponges flow pretty well. This one may not be big enough for our friends either, but I'll give it a shot. Oh, looks like maybe. Just got enough room. Uh-oh. They weren't balanced very well, huh? So our friends went for a little swim. So maybe this sponge isn't the best idea. Notice now that it's full of water, it's soaking and it's almost completely in the water. So when you add weight to it, it's a little too much for it to handle. So the sponge probably isn't the best idea either. But I wanted to make something. I didn't want to just repurpose things I had around the house. So I got to thinking and I decided I wanted to design a boat, but I didn't know what to design with until I remembered I had Legos. So I designed a little boat here. Now this boat isn't that big, especially considering our dinosaur friends here are barely fit inside it. But I wanted to see if my design was pretty good. So let's test it out. So it floats, but something I didn't think about at first, it's not airtight. That means that there are all these little holes on the inside and it's slowly filling up with water. So when I put one of my friends in here, pushes him down even further and he could probably make it across the river like this, but at some point his boat's gonna sink. Also, there's not enough room for more than one person. So that's not going to be very helpful. So then I wondered if I had other options or other things on the house. 
Now I remembered that I had popsicle sticks. So I got these out of Michael's craft store. Fairly inexpensive. You can do all kinds of things with them. So I use popsicle sticks and some packing tape. And scissors. So ask your mom and dad about scissors. This is my little raft that I made. So I just taped them all together and made a very thin raft, kind of like my piece of cardboard. Let's so it floats pretty well. So I, then I decided to test and see if I could add some weight. There goes brother number one, brother number two. Uh oh, it didn't handle the weight. Let's see if I redistribute the weight, if it'll work a little better. Go. Let's try to add a third brother right in the middle. No. Wah, wah. Too bad. Didn't quite make it. So obviously, my raft was pretty good, pretty good design, but it didn't have tall enough sides like my Lego boat did. So, what do you think I should have done? Should I have made this thicker going up or should I have added walls? Or what would you have done? So that's a fun activity. You can figure out how you would make your raft even better and see if you could make all of them get across. And maybe you can look at other ways to build a raft. Instead of a raft, maybe you can try to build a whole boat out of popsicle sticks or uh, see, I don't know, see if you could add a sail or something so you can have wind blow it across something. Whatever you want to do, try to design your own raft and see how much weight it can carry. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you guys had fun and I hope you guys make have even more fun making your own boats. See ya.